What is going on guys and girls? Josh Sherman here. Thank you all so much once again for tuning in. As always, to my new subscribers that have subscribed to me over the past couple of days, thank you all for doing so. And to my returning subs and my friends that have continued to watch my content, thank you all. I appreciate it very much. And let's get right into it. The DCEU has not always been met with the kindest of words. And many times, many times over the years, we have seen constant online wars over Batman v Superman, Man of Steel, and the entirety of the DCEU. A universe which I happen to enjoy. This video was initially going to be covering a controversial criticism of Wonder Woman, but instead I decided to do something different. When looking at Wonder Woman as a movie, it's important to remember that prior to Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot wasn't as well known outside of the Fast and Furious films. It's important to remember, ladies and gents, that Zack Snyder took a chance on Gal. Zack Snyder thought it best to get her to play Diana Prince. And WB should be bowing to his fucking feet and... Oh, wait. This isn't the right video. Point is, Gal Gadot's status wasn't near as big as it is now. Even though she was well-received in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, alongside Ben Affleck's Batman, some were still skeptical as to whether or not she could hold her own in a solo movie. There were those of us who doubted whether her acting ability would be able to sway viewers and make us all fans of Wonder Woman. And you see, this goes back to Zack Snyder taking a chance. Choice. Choosing to give Gal a chance to be something greater. And then, with Patty Jenkins, an unexpected choice for the movie, her direction of the entire film worked very well. And while I praise Zack Snyder often, don't think I overlook Patty Jenkins. Do not question my admiration for her genius behind the Wonder Woman movie. The No, Man, no Man's Land sequence was arguably the best moment in a comic book movie last year. That and the movie Logan with X-23. And it was reported that Certain crew members didn't necessarily want the No Man's Land scene in the film. A scene that inspired hope. A scene that inspired courage. A scene that made everybody else around Diana get in the fight itself. It was a powerful fucking sequence. Made me proud. As a fan of comic book movies and movies in general, it made me happy to see something that beautiful on the big screen. Not so much the act itself, but the message it inspired. And Gal, Gal proved that she can hold her own as Diana. She's gorgeous, but Patty and Gal is like the Steve McQueen, Michael Fassbender, Ryan Coogler, and Michael B. Jordan. That shit fucking works, goddammit. They work well together. And I applaud Patty for bringing in guys like Chris Pine and Steve Trevor, you know? It worked extremely well for the movie. And I have some problems with Ares as a villain, but overall, the movie earned its success. Wonder Woman earned every accolade, every broken record was well earned. And I have to commend Warner Brothers for not fucking with Patty's finished product overall. I have to commend Kevin Shuhira for not making some bogus ass rules for her film and not being detrimental to her craft. Because we have seen what happens when they do these things. It's remarkable, you know? Became the highest grossing comic book origin film at the time. Boosted gals, star meter, you know? Just unbelievable. And the film is just really enjoyable. Supporting characters like Etta Candy, Samir, and even Dr. Poison, they all fit into the movie itself. And there were accusations of Wonder Woman 
supposedly copying Captain America, the first Avenger. <laughs> and stuff like Wonder Woman being the DCEU's only successful movie. Look, can we just be happy that we have another enjoyable superhero film? And stop with the Marvel this, DC that shit. Stop with the fucking Diana Prince, Steve Rogers this. Shut the fuck up sometimes. Seriously. And for Wonder Woman itself, the movie is, of course, an inspiration for girls to look up to. But the movie doesn't boast that in its overall message. The movie doesn't focus on, say, OP characters or the so-called female empowerment. And to be honest with you all, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters... Dogs and cats, goldfish and lizards. <clears throat> it actually caused me to look at what we are, we as humans are and what we are capable of, both good and bad. You know? There is a scene towards the end of the movie where Steve tells Diana, maybe we're all to blame. You know? Diana thought stopping one bad guy would, would end all evil. That everything would be alright once she stopped Ares. And when you think about all the evils that exist in the real world, can you imagine how great it would be if it were that easy for everyone? Just a very good film. Not just an entertaining comic book movie, but an entertaining film, period. And I very much look forward to what Wonder Woman 2 brings. A lot of people are wanting Cheetah to be the villain. Some are skeptical about Patty potentially using the Cold War as the setting, but look, we were all skeptical about the first movie itself. You know, we fuss and ramble over the DCU. And I have and will continue to applaud and defend most of their efforts. Even if they sometimes stumble along the way. But Wonder Woman is one of the DCU's proudest achievements. In terms of comic book movies and movies in general. It is a testament to how good these type of films can be. DCU and DC comic fans should be proud of the movie. And like... The movie Man of Steel, it caused me to think. Wonder Woman did that. Superman did that. Henry Cavill's Superman. You see, these characters, these heroic godlike figures, they matter to a lot of people everywhere. And when you have inspiring moments like Wonder Woman going against 20 plus motherfuckers with guns all by herself, when you have moments like Wonder Woman choosing to still fight for humanity. When you have moments like Diana fighting to defend a world, a beautiful but troubled world, it's no wonder why they matter. It's no wonder why a DCEU movie like Wonder Woman can do actual wonders. It's no wonder that Wonder Woman is now a household name. Patty Jenkins did that. Gal Gadot did that. The DCEU did that. You know? I, I'm so glad that even with the humor in the movie, it felt natural and not forced. I'm glad that the movie knew when to cool down and allow for a few laughs. But it also knew when to get strapped up and ready for war. You know? We, we are so blessed to have an abundance of comic book films in this day and age that it says a lot when Wonder Woman can defy the odds. And Patty Jenkins, as always, great job. Well done. You didn't do it for the accolades. You didn't do it just for women. You made sure the film was entertaining for everyone. 800 plus million to be exact. I'm glad that Wonder Woman, a movie a lot of us initially doubted, proved everybody wrong.